Now the next EAS reaction we're going to look at here is called sulfonation here. And uh, we're going to add this sulfonate group and kind of take a look at what that sulfonate group looks like at the end. But uh, in this case, we're mixing SO3 sulfur trioxide with sulfuric acid. And that combo is called fuming sulfuric acid here. Uh, and so in this case, we've got to talk about how this electrophile forms yet again. Uh, and that's simply an acid-base reaction here. So one of the oxygens in sulfur trioxide is going to get protonated by sulfuric acid. Cool, and then we also get some HSO4 minus as well. I'll take the time to draw out. Only because we're going to use it later as a base. Uh, and in this case, this is the electrophilic species right here, SO3H plus, that benzene is going to come and react with. So in this case, we'll draw out the benzene. So in this case, benzene is going to come and attack the sulfur kicking these electrons out to the oxygen. So if we see what this looks like, that's your sulfonate group. That's what it actually looks like. We could have just written SO3H, uh, but I want to make sure you realize what that actually looks like. And got a positive charge there, got a hydrogen still there. And now we've uh, uh, done a nucleophilic attack. Now we've got to deprotonate. And that's what HSO4 minus here does. Comes and deprotonates that hydrogen to restore aromaticity back into the ring here. And now we've got our SO3H group attached. We've also got our H2SO4 back uh, when HSO4 minus deprotonates. So we get our catalyst back in again. Uh, just like we should. No catalyst should be consumed in a reaction. Now the second half of this is that this reaction is actually reversible here. And all we do is add dilute H2SO4 to reverse it. So the SO3H comes right back off. And uh, it turns out when we talk about synthesis, we'll find out how useful this is as kind of a blocking agent.